Welcome to this video series, where you are going to learn how to build, program, and fly your own quadcopter. I will guide you every step of the way to create a basic quadcopter, starting with this first introduction session. Let's get to it. In this session, you will learn the general concept behind a quadcopter, its major components and set up the core of this project. A TNC microcontroller programmable with the Arduino language. Let's have a brief look at the quadcopter we are going to build. It consists of a lower deck with four motors, a receiver and a place to hold the battery. The upper deck holds the other electronic components with a green TNC microcontroller in the middle. You also see a green and red LED and an XT60 pigtail for the battery. Without the battery, the quadcopter weighs around 175 grams or 6.2 ounces. Including the battery, the weight comes in just under 250 grams. Thanks to its small size, this quadcopter is capable of flying both indoors and outdoors. A quadcopter relies on four motors and propellers to provide enough thrust to start flying. Other necessary components include the radio control system, consisting of a radio transmitter and a receiver, a flight control system, consisting of a microcontroller and an orientation sensor, and finally also a powertrain with a battery, four electronic speed controllers, motors and propellers. And basically, that's all there is to it. The first component we will discuss in detail is the microcontroller. For this project, I will use the TNC 4.0 microcontroller. It has enough ports to send and receive signals from all other components and is both small and very capable. The Arduino software will be used to program the TNC. To connect the TNC to your laptop or computer, you will need a USB-A to micro B connector. The orange LED on your TNC should blink slowly after connection with your computer. Press and release the tiny push button on the TNC. The orange blinking LED should stop and the red TNC LED should be visible. This means your TNC works correctly. Now that you know your TNC is working correctly, download and install the TNC Loader program. If you do not have the Arduino software yet, download the latest version at the Arduino website and install it on your computer. The third and final piece of software to install is TNC Duino at the PERC website. Let's now open the Arduino IDE. Copy the code of the Blink program on the screen. Now click on Verify and save the file under the name Blink. After verification, you should see the message Done Compiling on your screen. Before you can upload your verified code to your TNC, you need to set up your TNC in the Arduino IDE. Go to Tools and select the TNC 4.0 board. Verify that the USB type is serial and that the CPU speed is 600 MHz. Also check the laptop port that holds the connection with your TNC. Connect the TNC again with the computer. Press the Upload button. The internal TNC LED will start blinking faster. You can increase the blinking speed by decreasing the delay time of 500 milliseconds in the code to, for example, 100 milliseconds. Congratulations! You succeeded to upload your first program to the microcontroller. In the next video, you will learn how your TNC can generate external commands.